Okay guys, this video is for the people that have CDK3000 that recently updated to the 3.3 Giro firmware update. And people, uh, DJs are actually reporting that they're having problems with their playlist not syncing properly or not showing up properly on the firmware update on the CDK3000. Now, I did have this issue myself. And what I had to do is pretty a simple fix. Um, now, be caution though, if you are a working DJ, a performing DJ, you might want to uh, have some extra backups just in case this might not work for you. Um, but I'm going to tell you guys how I actually fixed it. Um, so first, grab the USB drive that you uh, use for your CDJ. If you got multiple ones, then grab your multiple ones. Um, and then pretty much what you want to go ahead and do is go to your uh usb drive here so this is your usb drive section now the first thing you also want to do uh, before we continue you want to go in uh, in the sync manager and then you want to turn off synchronized playlist uh with a device and i'll talk about that in a second why that is um now what you want to go ahead and do you want to go ahead and click this little arrow and bring the drop down menu and then you see one library right there and with one library, it has a uh, section where it has all your tracks, your collection on your RetroBot section itself, but it also has your playlists. Um, now, this is uh, one of the issues. Uh, I had an issue where I had a playlist that I deleted on my RetroBot on my computer, but it was still showing up on the one library. So if that is something that's happening, what you want to do, you want to right click, and you want to hit click delete all. Now, this will delete the playlist off the cloud library sync. Um, because that's what um, one library is. Now, it'll let you go back to sync manager. Go back to sync manager, and then and you can see you got uh, device library. That is your regular a standard record by, uh, library section for the USB drive for any device that you have that uses USB. But if you go down, and you can see there's another section with one library, and as you can see it uh, has duplicate hits of like the same playlist, it's just another section of it. Um, now, there might be a situation where you deleted a playlist or you edit a playlist or something like that, and you go into this and you're noticing that you're seeing those playlists showing up or those deleted playlists are showing up on your CDJs um, after you do this firmware update. The reason why that's happening is because the, um, the one library thing is actually the cloud library thing and it's not uh, consistently updated. Once in a while, you have to check the thing over here to see if it's updated or not. Um, now, I had to clear it on this section to get it working, um, but that was pretty much the issue, the only issue I had. I didn't have, like, um, you know, missing track or anything like that. Now, some people did report that, and you might have to go through, like, you know, the all track, and then you probably have to go through that. Now, like I said, be cautious if you're a, work, if you're a working DJ or a performing DJ, Make sure you have a backup. If you got a backup for an old from an older version of Retro Bot, there you go. Now Pioneer did say that they are gonna downgrade or suspend this version. If you already have updated your CDJ to this version, um, I'm gonna say probably don't downgrade back to the old version because you might break your CDJ. I've seen that happen before. But um but that's basically one of the ways to fix the issue with the playlist syncing properly. Because, like I said, I had some playlists that I deleted off my record box. And when I did the update and uh, resync this, um, those playlists were showing up on the CDJ. But they weren't showing up on my record box. Comes to find out, the one library uh, section is... Uh, basically a backup uh, side of your current main library. It's just um, keep uh, data or keep data of like the previous stuff. Um, and Pioneer got to fix that. They have to fix it that, you know, that way it doesn't conflict with any CDJ or XDJ system. Um, 
But yeah, hopefully that was a fit for you guys.